welcome back once again and this time i'll talk to you about uh, a string uh, we've done integers we've done double values double you know decimal values we know character that's enclosed in double quotes and a string is enclosed in double quotes okay so i will discuss with you uh, a string it's not a data type as, as i told you it's basically a class so string is little different than the rest of them the rest are self explanatory integers you know floating point types you know character you know so it's it's very very uh, self explanatory but a string is little different why supposedly i have this variable str and i store something in it how r u first of all keep in mind this is a capital letter why i'm telling you this because java is a case sensitive language okay the variable is this and the value that it has is this okay so what is a string a string is a sequence sequence of characters right sequence of characters these characters could be numbers spaces special characters anything so anything that you enclose in double quotes enclosed in is basically a string like 1 2 3 4 5 they appear to be integers but they are a string so like uh, 240 comma 50 this is also a string okay this all the special characters enclosed in double quotes is also a string right so these are all examples of a string and they can be stored in variables that's not a problem so why computer does not pay any attention to special characters enclosed in double quotes because computer assumes it to be a string so computer does not read what is inside the double quotes the moment it encounters double quotes computer knows that this is a string so whatever you put inside those two double quotes well computer has nothing to do with it finally and computer knows that it is a string but there is something very unique about it each character in the string is actually given a number each character in the string is given a number that will come little later when we do string functions but i thought when i am telling you about a string i should tell you about that as well so when i say how r u this is a string enclosed in double quotes so each character how many characters it has 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 it has 11 characters that is the length of the string that is the length of a string so 11 characters it has and that happens to be the length of the string actually the numbers they begin from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so it is starting from 0 and it goes up to 10 but actually if you count if you count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so there are 11 characters in it actually there are 11 characters in it but the 
what are these called these are known as index numbers so each character character in the string is given a number which is known as which is known as index number okay index number we'll explore it little later but this was very important and i thought since we are doing these things i should tell you and something very important also i would like to tell you here only so that you do not make that mistake again and that is like how do we basically check the equality of a string or i think i will discuss that with you little later but equality means like normally we say if a is equal to 10 that's how we check the equality of integers or double or characters but when we check the equality of a string we do not use this operator we say if s dot e q u a l s equals and then the string right this is a brief introduction of equals but i will explain it to you in detail when i talk about it even this operator or when we talk about the if statement okay so this was about a string